Greetings, hunters. This is Christina from the Game Catch team. We are a team of monster hunter lovers that wanted to have a niche and user friendly armor set builder for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Therefore, we wrote this website, and it has a bunch of features from the basic ones like、uh, the importing and exporting of talismans and curious armors. To the more advanced features like the recommendation of curious augmentations. This is the beginning of a series of videos that teaches you how to use various functions of our website. In this video, I will introduce how to use the basic search function. For more advanced features like curious augment recommendations, I will introduce them in the next video. You can find the link to our website in the introduction of this video. When you first visit the website, it is in the menu build mode by default. You can manually create your build here by simply clicking on each row and specify your weapon, your armors, and your talisman. Now let's toggle to the auto search mode. The very first thing I will check is the gender here, and then we see. Several options of different features of this armor set builder. In this video, we're just gonna go with the very first option because that's the basic search function. And then we see two edit tools that let you to、uh, save your own talismans or curious augmented armors. They will be later used in the armor set search. To edit the talisman list, click the button here. You can either enter your talismans one by one or batch import them. To batch import, click expand, and you'll see the buttons that let you import talismans from a file or text in the format shown here. There are existing methods for both Switch players and PC players to batch export all of your talismans from the game to a text file, which can then be read by our armor set builder. You can find links to these methods below in the introduction of this video. Here, I'll show you the text file that I exported from the game, and each line is one talisman in this specific format. All I have to do is to click the import button, select this file, click OK, and then we'll see all the talismans are saved here. Once we have imported our talismans, click the blank space to get back to the main web page. And now let's edit our curious crafting list by clicking this button. Similar to the talisman editing, you can either enter curious armors one by one or batch import them. To do batch import, click expand to see the buttons and the format of the text. For PC players. You can batch export your curious armors from the game using a mod, and the link to the mod is in the video description. Here, I'll just click import, select this file, click open, click OK, and then you'll see all your saved curious armors are shown here. Again, we click the blank space to go back. The rest of the tools in this toolbox let you clear. Lock or exclude certain things, and they should be pretty straightforward. So I won't go through them. Now let's talk about weapons. You can leave the weapon blank, and the searcher will treat your weapon as one without any slots. Or if you have a certain weapon in mind or know the weapon slots, you can click on the weapon row to specify weapon slots here. Or choose a weapon by searching its name or finding it on the weapon tree. Let's say we are using the Guardian Great Sword, and we click it on the weapon tree to select it. Now we click the blank space to go back. The final thing, and probably the most important thing we need to do before searching, is to specify desired skills. We can either do it in the tiled view, or at skills here. By typing and selecting skill names and levels. Here, I predefined a set of skills, and now let's start search. The search stops when it finds all possible solutions, or when it has found 1,000 results, whichever comes first. 
After the search stops, we can view extra skills and levels available by clicking View Skills. The skills and levels here means that if we increase any skill to the level shown here, the searcher can still find solutions. You can directly increase the skill levels by just clicking here. Now let's get back to view the search results by clicking this button Detailed View. Here we see four solutions, and you can sort them by defense or slots. In each solution, we see a summary of the build with extra skills and slots. We can also click on the row to expand details of this build. Let's say we've decided to use this first build that uses 5 augmented armors. We can directly apply this build by clicking apply here, and then we'll see a summary of this build on the right. We can export or share this build by using the URL here, or we can use the tools in this export import button. We can also save this build in our favorite builds. We can customize the build name and then hit save. This build will then be appearing below and we can load this build anytime we want. If we want to import or export all of our favorite builds, just click expand here and use these tools. This is particularly useful when you want to switch to another browser or device or just to make a backup of your builds. That's everything for this video tutorial. Next time, I'll introduce how to use the Curious Augment recommendation feature in GameCatch Armor Set Builder. If you have questions or thoughts, feel free to comment below. If you like our website, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to us. And don't forget to recommend our GameSet Armor Set Builder to others. Thank you for watching and see you next time.